Hi guys and welcome back. So this video is just going to be a quick vlog of what's going on what I'm doing right now. A couple of things that I'm doing are I'm testing motors right now. I've previous tests results from the low KV uh, were not as accurate as I believed them to be and I've been testing it and I did have a bad load cell and I've gotten some more and I'm just about to replace it right now and do my motor testing. Now the motors I'm going to be testing are for example the Brother Hobby R4s, the new Mark motors, uh, believe it or not, these are from Sky Zone. these Mark motors. Uh, the 2550 and 2750K, I'll leave them linked down below. They're pretty insane. They're made by the RC and Power uh, manufacturer. And uh, one of these were provided to me by Banggood. The other one was provided to me by Sky Zone themselves. So that was very nice of both of them, actually. Uh, that just reduces some cost on the channel. Uh, like I said, yeah, the Brother Hobby R6 motor. And the T motors, I got the F40 Pros, the F60 Pros. Uh, the I don't know what else I got a lot of them so yeah the, the brother hobby Avengers so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a bunch of motor testing I won't release them all after each other I'll mix and match with some other things so that's one thing I'm doing um, another thing that I'm doing is I'm actually designing and I'm making the video of this uh, an adapter made out of carbon fiber here for 11 XX motors for basically for micro motors so I really want to get those tested and I also want to try to do the 1s brushless micro motors that will be pretty fun, It'll give us some nice data into that, so that will be pretty cool, I really want to do that, because there isn't really any much data on those stuff right there. And uh, here are the load cells, I've gotten a couple, i got some 1 kilogram, 2 kilograms, and 5 kilograms. 1 kilograms are going to be for the micro motors, like these types of motor testing, and we can do some propeller testing, so that will be pretty fun, pretty interesting. Um, and what else do we have? Oh yeah, another thing, uh, I'm going to be doing more. CNCing on the channel, more carbon fiber and just project CNCing here. And some of the things that I've learned along the way that I think would benefit a lot of people because there isn't much online about these kinds of things. And um, yeah, and I also have an AKK review here. And um, I got the Diatone GTR5, the 5 inch, because maybe I want to build something with it, I don't know yet. So this is going to be pretty cool. And another thing, there was one time where I posted something about a 3 axis gimbal. And everyone thought it was a camera gimbal, but it's not a camera gimbal, it's this thing right here. This is a quadcopter testing rig gimbal. That means you strap your quadcopter, it's not complete yet, I've designed the rest but I haven't printed the rest of the files. The quad would sit here, and you can actually move in every single axis. So yaw, this is yaw. This would be roll, and pitch is going to be in here somewhere. So once I finish that, you guys will see that. So I'm building a little prototype. This is going to go for like little brushless micros right now, but I want to get a working prototype so I can go bigger, like a 5 inch and a 6 inch builds, and actually do that, do the testing there. I think that would be pretty, pretty cool actually, and I really want to do that. Um, I was supposed to get a testing rig like this for 5 inch quads, but that company actually uh, closed up shop because their Kickstarter was not uh, successful. And uh, so I emailed them, I just told them, hey, listen, I'll buy one. But they just, they're just ignoring me. So, you know, I was like, you know what, I'll just make my own. So that's why I started designing one. It looks completely different. So you can't say, oh, he cloned it. Nope, it's 100% different. I just used my own logic and brain and wanted something that prints fast, yet durable. And just, uh, I just want to get a quick prototype out as soon as possible. And then figure out how I can do this with some aluminum and some other stuff. So that's what that was. And that will be upcoming. I have all the footage so far to leading to this point. And uh, once I complete, I'll put it all together. And uh, I'm also working on another adapter here, which is basically, I'm going to put a complete quad with four motors. And I'm currently programming a Raspberry Pi with possibly an Arduino to talk with the flight controller through the multi wii protocol and uh, simulate flight. So that's what I want to do. I'll be simulating flight here while we're recording the noise from a battery. So it's like a real kind of flight, but obviously it's not flying. But it'll give us a very good testing result. We can do noise tests on the overall system with four motors, different ESC setups. Uh, we can also see the FPV video noise with, with four motors, don't forget. We can actually do real reliable 4 in 1 ESC testing like really accurately. Because uh, those are like, those are, they give us, the current testing gives us a good overview and a good idea of how well it's going to perform. But at the end of the day, I'm only adding one motor. But when I add all four with a battery, then we can actually get real results. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. I'm really working hard on that, and that's just taking most of my time. I'm in India, so. Um, and I do have a video that should be coming maybe after this one. It's basically the top four standalone ESCs. 
like single ESCs. A lot of people just constantly make me send me these messages. What's the best flight controller? What's the best? What's the best? So I never actually did the best. I did the budget and I did 41 ESC. So I'll be doing that. I actually there was a couple new ones that just came out that I really like and uh, they seem that they're good and I'm about to go take them out flying tomorrow I believe. So that'll be coming possibly after tomorrow that video. And oh yeah, check this out. So this is the SPC. This is my favorite, was my favorite micro. And I've been taking it out with my uh, splits, uh, split sane. And the other day I just, I ran out of props for the split sane. So I just wanted to go fly this one. It took off. I just punched the throttle. I heard a huge pop. It fell out of the ground. Everything went black. I smelt it. Something burned in here. I haven't had time to take it apart. But once I do, we'll just see what the problem is. And um, yeah, that was very shame. It was, I don't know, I was very upset when that happened, to be honest. And, oh, oh yeah, check this out. So, this guy. I'm going to leave a link down below to this. This is a $130 kit from Banggood I got. Excuse my shoes, I don't like walking with shoes in here. So, yeah, this is a $130 quadcopter kit. It's a hexcopter, it's huge. Like, let me put it in perspective here. Um, here is the iFly XL5, I think, frame. This is a 5-inch frame. You see the difference? It's huge. So this is a 540 millimeter hexcopter. I purchased the Terret gimbal, the GoPro gimbal from Banggood um, yesterday. And it should be here hopefully next week. So sorry about the shaking. Um, and uh, we're gonna see how we're gonna install it here. Probably I'll probably have to des 3D, design a 3D print something to hold it into place in the bottom on the payload area because it didn't come with the payload area. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. Now there's a couple things that I'm kind of stuck at. I wrote you guys that, well I made a little post, and some of you probably not seen it. I was going to stick uh, an F7 Matek F7 because it has 6 motor outputs. But then I also remember the Matek F405 has 6 motor outputs. But then I'll only run iNav, and then I said I wanted to use the Pixhawk. But the Pixhawk that I was going to get was a Hollybro branded one, it's pretty awesome. And I actually contacted Hollybro, they said yes, we'll give you. But the problem is it only takes 4 motors, which was like a slap in the face. So right now I'm still debating, should I go with the Pixhawk or should I go with the iNav? So that's where I'm currently stuck right now. Uh, I was thinking of just quickly doing a quick iNav setup, how it flies and kind of get a feel for it. So I just really want to see how it flies and just get a feel for it uh, before moving into the Pixhawk. And um, yeah, and I think that's really it. I mean, I'll leave a link to everything here down below. Um, so yeah, diatone, some other frames. Oh, this is going to go for my Patreon, so this is this month's giveaway. Uh, it's going to be a brand new DYS Shark. Brand new, brand spanking new. Not the one that I broke on the channel, this one right here. This is going to a lucky Patreon, so make sure you join Patreon. You'll support the channel, you get a bunch of things. I'm doing four giveaways this month. And I think I'm also going to give away the... Uh, I'm gonna, you know what, let me tell you something about the Eosheen Lizard here. This one... It's twitching like it's on crack, okay? But I only flown it like twice, and I still want to go fly it. But what I want to do is install Butterfly. And after I install Butterfly, I want to go ahead and uh, set up the filters and take it out for a flight and see how well it does. If the Because I tried to tune that thing out, but it wouldn't get tuned out. So I don't know how, how Joshua Bardwell had his flying good. Um, for me, it was just on, you know, it was, it was the mid-throttle oscillations, which is mid-throttle to 80% throttle is where most of the noise comes from ESC, so it could be due to ESC, so a good filter could filter that out. Or maybe one just fat cap capacitor on board, it doesn't have a capacitor, maybe a nice fat capacitor on board will fix that up too. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but yeah, I'm going to do that before I do the giveaway, because uh, I want something that flies good for people. And what else do we have? I think that's really it. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to sign up to my website's newsletter because some of the things here, like maybe a Brother Hobby R6 motor, I'm going to be selling for like 50% off just one set. So it's first come, first serve. So, yeah, I, it's in my previous video if you want more information. I just made a, basically a website to support the channel as well as put my creations, some pre-built quads from the channel, and some other random stuff that I won't use instead of collecting dust. Uh, this way I can give you guys something and at the same time you support the channel. So I think that's going to be pretty cool and pretty interesting. If you missed that, check out the website. I'll leave a link to it down below. 
sign up to the newsletter and I highly recommend you check the video before this because it goes into detail of how to make sure you get the thing you want. So yeah, I have a lot of ESCs, like for ESCs, 10 bucks, I'll sell it for like five bucks. Um, just things that I'm not using, transmitters, goggles, receivers, whatever the hell I have, I'm just gonna sell sometimes <clears throat> just to support the channel. And well, I think that's really it. Yeah, we're gonna be doing more CNC stuff. And currently I think, yeah, that, that's it at the current moment of time, but things do change a lot. And um, yeah, currently I need to finish this and then I can see what's the next step after that. Uh, this will take me about a week or so, but um, yeah, I have other things. I have a couple of builds planned also. I still have to do some maidens for some other quadcopters. So I'll be doing that very soon this week, hopefully. And well, that's it guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.